All right, thank you for joining me back again for part two. Uh, we'll try and keep this video short. But there you can see the video, I'm sorry, the rim on the right hand side, the two hole rim there. On the right hand side, that is a 125th scale rim by Scenes Unlimited. The Bridgestone tire that it's mounted on is also from Scenes Unlimited. The tire on the left hand side, the tire and rim combo, that's an AMT Freightliner rim where I have turned down the big giant lip and it's now pretty much gosh darn identical to the Scenes Unlimited one in terms of the size of where it looked a lot bigger in diameter or just overall when you compared it to the Scenes Unlimited prior to me sanding them down. Now look at that. That just looks gorgeous. So we're going to play a little game right now. We're going to play a little contest here in about five minutes. Let me just show you the front setup we got here. That, of course, is straight out of the box. AMT front steering tire mounted on a Scenes Unlimited 125th Bridgestone steer tire. But right there, you could see that big giant lip we're talking about. Here's, a, here's an AMT rim where I turn down the lip and here's one without so um and there's a the, the weathering that sanding we did on top so pretty much I learned a lesson today let me mount the camera back on I learned a very important lesson today, and that was uh, even though tires, the subject of tires and weathering tires and rims might be not as glamorous and maybe kind of boring, at least to me and maybe to others, it actually pays off in huge dividends. If you get it right, once the model is done, it's all going to pop. I would have looked... I would have looked like a silly ass nut job had the model came out gorgeous, but my running gear down below looked like crap. So uh, I was talking with Eric at his and hers hobby headquarters again, and uh, I think I had mentioned that I didn't start seeing nice results to my modeling many, many, many years ago, maybe a couple decades ago, till I finally started to learn to slow myself down. So maybe that's the lesson here. Let's go back and check the old girl. So there's the tire wheel combinations we're talking about. Your AMT type tire and wheel set up here. Your scenes unlimited one up front and your AMT one once again. On the reverse, it's still the AMT front steering rims and tires. But on the reverse, you don't have this AMT 10-hole rim. On the reverse, it's all two-hole on both axles. So it makes it a little easier. But uh, you can see the, mi the, mismatch the mismatched grab bag of just anything goes that just to keep the truck running to uh, generating revenue on the farm, I guess. So um, I did locate the battery box, which is right here. And um, I'm going to have to do some sort of setup where I'm going to have to weld Palette of Brass this type of exhaust here. It's weird. That's because the exhaust can't come up from the top. So that it's down here below. I'm going to have to Google it. Um, if if uh, I believe Tom, uh, Tom Klein was helping me uh, with uh, details for the cab and the front single headlight placement. If he could give me any... Uh, any pointers on that, that'd be great. That'd be really appreciated. Tom Klein, like always, thank you for that. Much, much appreciated. Um, okay, let's do this. All right, let's come back down below. Now on our mock-up here. Let's get some more lights back on it. Um, let me see. What can I think of? 
what we're going to work on next, I think, because the bed, the dump bed has an overhang to it that has to clear the cab, just like the one in the video. And uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work. Well, here, let me show you what I got. Uh, as far as the mechanism to lift the dump bed up and down, AMT provides you with all these cool little styrene bits and pieces with their kit on their snow plow kit. Or imagine any of the dump kits. But I think I'm going to take it one further. I went down to Ace Hardware this morning. Um, where I had seen for about three bucks these telescoping pointers. I cut the magnet off and uh, I went ahead. I think I had literally like four bucks left in my wallet. I bought it and uh, I came home. I started cutting into it. If you ever want to know what makes these little telescoping sections stop and work flawlessly and hold their place, I cut one apart and they're little tiny. Those look like copper um, flanges or sleeves. And they got a little dimple pressed on them. And in your total telescoping part, you have little tiny holes where that dimple fits into the hole and the sleeve fits inside. So that's how that works, if you guys ever wondered. No use tearing one apart. I'm already going to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... I'm the front two portions of the telescoping pointer. I'll cut them down to size. I'll build up the AMT housing for the plastic one they provide. And um, I'll start to see how I can uh, uh, graft the real telescoping metal one onto the AMT one. So the dump bed can lift up and down with no issues. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And there's our front. So I took the dump it off of the. So if you're going to do custom one of a kind building, prototype building, um, what we used to call model railroading, proto 48 type building, um, you're constantly, constantly going to be running. Literally every move you make, you're going to hit a roadblock of some sort. Some more extreme than others. And that's where your brain starts to think. Kind of like a chess player. You have to anticipate your moves. And the gears in your brain start working. Which I guess is good. Keep the juices flowing. Especially as I get older. And uh, But you'll get the results. You saw how we struggled kind of in the beginning with the steering axle. Now it came out great. And she works fantastic. And she's bulletproof. Unless I stomp on her. Or drop a hammer hammer on her or throw a hammer on her uh, this bulletproof that's pretty much bulletproof um, so this is a little game we're gonna play it's a quickie game bear with me let me set up the let me, let me set up the playing surface while you check out the the dump hey, check out the video You guys check out the video of our girl down in Texas while I set up the game for us. And then... <laughs> Yo, you got freaking smoke coming out of the front. Right, call me the Bob Bob Barker of YouTube. That's a great shot. Oh, and you can see uh, 
one fuel tank on one side only because it's got the exhaust and the batteries on the other side. It's a farm truck. So it's not going to need two fuel tanks. It's not a long hauler, but um, look at those front headlights. That's great. I do have a question for Tom Klein. Tom Klein, if I got you on the air right now, sir, um, I see a smooth front. I can barely make out a rivet belt line going across here and one coming down here. On the AMT... On the AMT, um, that belt line going across horizontally here is there, so I'll keep that. And the belt line, the rivet line coming down here is there. Vertically, I'll keep that. Does the freight liner you are looking at, does it have this diagonal raised portion of sheet metal and that rivet line? That'd be great if you could let me know, Tom. Because I think it may not, and I may have to do a lot of sanding and, like you said, filling to get that uh, to look just right. But uh, Tom's great. Tom's been a tremendous, tremendous asset to what we've been doing here. And I don't take credit for any of my models. A lot of people help me with the beautiful results you guys have seen. So, like I said, I'm the Bob Barker of YouTube. I don't have the corny uh price is right music or the hot model but here we go all right ladies and gentlemen i'm going to point to a tire and rim and you guys tell me whether you think it's amt or scenes unlimited or none of the above and the winner of this the winner of this game will get a mystery prize delivered to their front door or you can pick it up here at the studios all right so now let's start with an easy one what do you guys think this one is here beautiful detail no big lip on it going around also some cool little holes for the lugs lug nuts to go through that's right that that would be scenes unlimited what about this gorgeous masterpiece here also Looks like it's made from the same material, same size, beautiful tan hole rim. However, it's missing the lug nut holes. That's correct. That would be AMT, Freightliner rim. Very good, very good. Okay, so what would this one be then? Looks like white styrene. Could it be the same as this one? It's different colors. However, they both have small lips or they beat around the outside of that rim. That's correct. That's also an AMT Freightliner. That's very good. You guys are going to win a lot of prizes here. Um, so, what about this one right here? Now, this one is gorgeous. Same color as the Scenes Unlimited. It looks like the same material, same size. Uh, no big giant fat lip. This one actually has lug nuts all around, unlike the It's an AMT Brother. So who do you think made that rim right there? Uh, wrong. That's actually AMT. That's an AMT. Has the rims also with the little lug nuts, which I knew, but I had forgotten. I painted it, primered it gray. I turned down that lip. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that AMT rim is going to be. So this is what I meant. This is a long, boring video, but it actually had to be said or made because this is where you're going to pay off dividends on your final product. I think pretty much we may be done right about here. Thank you for joining me. Let me prop up the Freightliner again so we can watch her sell off into the distance. Let's prop her up a different way. You know, we're going to have double... Double wheels back here. I just have to figure out some stuff as far as that's concerned. But for right now, let's go ahead and goof around with the 10 hole rim, the 2 hole rim,
So we'll leave you with a rig to check out. Thank you for joining me today. Let's pick some cool music for us to listen to. An amazing vacation, but not for you. These are things you hear that? Not for us. All right. So I propped up all the lights. Check out what you guys have helped contribute to. Uh, I'm really proud of the way she looks. I'll shut up for a few minutes. When I think about you, I think about love. Well, darling, if I live without you, I live without love. If I had those golden dreams of my yesterday. She looks beautiful. I, I, I'm standing here behind the tripod and I got a big dopey smile on my face. I want to personally thank each and every one of you because although you may not contribute sometimes with advice or technical stuff, uh, just the fact that I know you're enjoying what I'm presenting is impetus enough for me to keep just right on going with something that's been a passion of mine all my life. All my adult life. I started doing this back in about 1988, 89. Uh, it's now 2022. Uh, just, and the friends, the fellow modelers, the friends, the shows, the stories, the trips. Holy cow, I can go on forever. I can feel volumes, volumes of adventures I had that this incredible, terrific hobby has brought to me. Pretty much just want to give the one that's running out there in the, the prototype, the real one out there in Texas, just give her some justice. Uh, I know that video kind of bugs people. It used to bug me at first, but um, I tried to contact those guys. Hopefully they'll return my message and I can give you guys more information on her. But for right now, we've got this girl. You guys are awesome. Sorry for the two-parter. Sorry for the long tire and rim tutorial. But um, it's something I had to say and has something I had to share, especially with the new guys or the guys returning back to the hobby. Or the older guys like me.
gonna be beautiful when she's done. Absolutely beautiful. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys, take care. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. We'll be back with some more videos in a day or two. You guys, take care.